Welcome to this new how to. In this how to, we're going to look at how you can fix the pink textures, which you can see currently on the screen, which you might have experienced with Flight Simulator. I also had them, well, a long time ago. Uh, luckily, I didn't experience the issue uh, recently myself. But if you have them, we will discuss how you can fix it. In most cases, it's caused by community add ons, but in some cases also, it's caused by the fact that the scenery files are corrupted. Now to locate the scenery files, the first thing you need to do is you need to go to the app data folder, right? Let me zoom in a bit. So you can go to uh, local app data. That will bring you to your local app data folder, which is normally a hidden folder. Then inside that folder, you can browse for the packages folder where you will find, if you scroll down a bit, the flight simulator folder with that large GUI behind it. Inside that folder, you've got the local cache folder. The local cache folder, as you already can think of, is a cache folder. And there you will also find some packages folder. But of course, you want to, I would say, ensure that you're looking at the correct file, right? Because if you modified it for some reason, then it could be that it's not, let's say, in the place where you expect it to be. So in this case, it's a little bit hard, right? Because it's not showing me uh, the things which I would like to show. Uh, so let me uh, go to, in this case, a notepad. It looks a little bit weird on the screen. And I say enter just once. And then it will open the uh, folder or the file, which is the user configuration. And the user configuration, if you scroll down to the bottom of the file, that's where you'll find the install package path. So in my case, all the packages are stored in this path, which means C uh, MSFS. If you didn't make this modification, it could be fairly well that it's inside this folder, right? Because as you already saw, and if I scroll, zoom in again, here we also have the uh, local cache folder, including those two default folders. In most cases, if you click on this, you will see some, some content, and there you will find a lot of the uh, details or the, beach, the default uh, scenery files, which you might want to remove. But as Asobo also mentions in their official uh, say statement, is that you first need to clean up the community folder and then see if it's not happening anymore. So let's in this case, go to my community folder, which is also stored in the same folder. And by the way, I created a video about how to change this, right? Uh, I definitely recommend you to do it because I it saved me already a lot of reinstalls because in some cases the default uh, folder gets cleaned up while this one is never being touched, which is also good. Uh, so if you look at this folder, right, you can see all the community add-ons and that's where you can, I'd say, clean up this or simply rename this folder and then try again. If you're then still experiencing the issue, then you need to go to the next step. And the next step is by going to the official folder, which contains the one store folder. And that one contains a lot of items, right? You can see all the aircrafts from Asobo. But if you scroll down uh, a very lengthy time, you will also find the default scenery files. And those are the FS base files. So what Asobo says in their uh, documentation that if you're still experiencing issues, that you need to select all these files. And though there are a lot of these files, as you can see, uh, and select them and then simply remove all of them. What will happen the first time you start Flight Simulator after doing this action, it will say, hey, I'm missing files, so I'm gonna re-download them. So be aware that this will initiate a large download, uh, which I would say might take some time depending on your internet speed. But believe me, it sometimes resolves the issue because this will force that the simulator will uh, replace any corrupted files because, hey, the files are simply not there anymore. Now, in worst case scenario, it could be that it still isn't fixed. In those scenarios, you need only have two options, right? Let me also show them. So if you go to the Xbox app, which you have installed on your machine, you can see the games which you have installed on your machine uh, using this app. And there you will find also the Flight Simulator 1. And uh, the Flight Simulator 1 uh, has a few options. So you can say, hey, I want to have more actions and then you can say manage. And that's where you can say, hey, I want to uninstall the game. But in some cases you can also repair the game. Uh, to be honest, uh, repairing, I tried it, but it does not always resolve the issue. Uh, while if you uh, would do, I would say, 
uh, the uninstall and then reinstall it, it mostly resolves the issue. But as you can see on the files tab, if you go there, there's a button verify and repair. It will simply repair this installation. It sometimes resolves the issue. But in worst case, you can uninstall the game and reinstall the game. Uh, that's, let's say, uh, those are the steps which you need to take. And hopefully you don't need to take them. Because as we all know, that will initiate a large download which can take some time before it's uh, completed. So here ends this video where we looked at, I would say, multiple ways to resolve the uh, pink scenery issue, which I showed you earlier, right? Let me show it quickly again, this one. So we went to all the steps which you need to take, also the steps how to locate the uh, base files, as well as your community folder. Although I think that most of you know where to find it. Uh, and then we looked at okay, the other steps. If that doesn't resolve the issue, what additional steps are required to resolve the uh, pink scenery issue? I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm posting, then make sure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.